today I am on my way to the south side of Atlanta to tow a car. You know why this is important? There's a lot of lessons to be gleaned from this, and I'm going to explain to you what I'm going through. Yesterday, I called a towing company to come pick up the car, and they were supposed to come pick it up. They never came pick it up. Incompetence is at an all-time high. So, what I had to do is get up first thing this morning and go ahead and get this done. I have to physically go there, and also, Google is jacked. Uh, I called up some people, and essentially what Google will do is tow trucks near you, right? Well, I'm in Sandy Springs. The car is at East Point. So I was getting all these people's like, oh, we don't service that area. We don't service that area. So I have to physically go to the location and do my Google search to get a tow truck that's over there. I mean, it's crazy. And also, one of the things that I see is uh, a lot of people don't take credit cards. And there's a lot of towing companies not taking credit cards. Cash only, you know. And there's a, a big difference for some of them that will um, take a credit card. They want to charge you like... $25, $30 more to take a credit card. And they're not actually losing, they're only losing like two point something percent. So <clears throat> it, 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 it's crazy. But one of the things that I am consistently seeing as I do this is a lack of effort. Um, Right now, I don't know what it is to start a towing company. I've dealt with a lot of record companies. I dealt with a towing company that picked up my Porsche that was stolen. I dealt with a towing company that picked up the other BMW that was stolen. And it was funny. Um, the company I picked up the BMW for didn't take credit cards. Fortunately... I always roll with a little cash on me, so I had the cash on me. Because uh, when I call, <clears throat> they didn't tell me they took cash only. And it's very, very interesting um, what is going on in the world today. Because lessons from a business owner, uh, I should title that. Um, essentially, one of the things that the car rental business is requiring for me to physically show up to do certain things. And I've got to put some processes and systems into place for the future where I don't have to do this. And one of the things that I'm going to do, like once I get my commercial insurance, I'm going to start buying the cars and the company name. Why is that important? Well, I got a car that I bought, and th this is a whole bunch of stuff, that the emissions wasn't done, so you can't get a tag until the emissions is done. And I bought it. Uh, I'm not buying any cars from this dealership anymore because I've had nothing but problems out of these cars. Um, the car that I am going to get to be towed came from this same dealership. This car has been in the shop two times. And I'm just sitting there like... All right, because I, I have a theory. I feel that this car has more miles on it than what I was led to believe. Because the stuff that's happening, the level of wear and tear on it, is just greater than 170,000 miles. It's just greater than that. I've got BMWs with 160,000 miles that don't even have that kind of wear. That don't have that kind of wear. We're only talking about 10,000 miles more. I mean, unless it was an absolute slob who owned this car. I mean, it, it's just, it's a rough car. And essentially, it's one of the cars I'm thinking about getting rid of. Because it has been in the shop 
well, it, it will be in the shop two times after I, and essentially, um, the CV joint broke since it's a front wheel drive car. And I gotta get it towed, and I gotta get all that sorted, and I gotta get it to uh, a mechanic for them to fix it, and all this other stuff. And one thing that I am looking at, you know, kind of going back to setting it up where I don't physically have to go and do this stuff, like with the tag, because the car is in my name. When you get your tag, you have to show your driver's license. So once I set this up at a company level and I go ahead and buy the cars in the name of Mac Daddy Autos or, well, I'm going to create a leasing company. I'm going to create a leasing company and I'm going to buy the names and the, uh, the lease, the, buy the car in the name of the leasing company. And that way I can dispatch an employee because... The owners of Hertz and National and Enterprise, they're not showing up to get taxed. So there is a way, and you know, once I, I would really be interested in looking at the paperwork for Hertz. All of them to see who owns these cars. Because uh, essentially, <clears throat> that's the same procedure that I have to set up in the future that I have to set up for because like this right here like what I wanted to do this morning but because incompetence is at an all time high I have to physically I wanted to get up and make some training for the corporate papers but one of the things I've learned from my productivity uh, class is you, you got to do like this is going to be one of the most time consuming things I'm going to do today. I got to be there because tow trucks don't show up when they when they say they're going to show up. Like we'll be there in 30 minutes. 30 minutes could be three hours. I the same car I had to get towed. I called one tow company. It was taking them forever to get someone to me. And then I called around and I found and actually what happened was I was already on. It was on. Fulton Industrial. So when I did the Google search, it got me tow truck drivers that were on that side of town. Because this is one of the things that I have to do today is um, go to that side of town to do my Google search. So, and I was able to find someone who actually was really cool. And <laughs> oddly enough, he ain't available. Because I, I reached out to him, you know, yesterday. He wasn't available. I don't know. He's he's probably got some stuff going on in his life. Um, but this guy was able. I left the key with the car. He was able to pick it up, drop it off where I needed to drop, and he was able to take a credit card over the phone. That's the kind of service that I need. And what I'm finding out with a lot of these antiquated services that many of them have not come up to speed. I'm just, I'm appalled that a service business doesn't take credit cards. I don't know why they don't take credit cards. I, I should call them and ask them. But this is one of the things man, that you got to contend with when you start a business like a car rental business. And, you know, there are people like, hey, I know you're fresh in the car rental business, but keep the content to separate. I'm going to talk about what the fuck I want to talk about. People crack me up. This is free. You ain't paying for this. It's free. It's free. You know, I, I find it appalling how picky people want to be with free content. It, it's kind of crazy. <sighs> But one of the things that I am really doing is every day I come out and I learn something, I've got a little mental notebook I'm keeping up for the future. Because today will predict the future. And in the future, you know, six months from now, ain't gonna be no time soon, I will have an employee to go out and get these tags. I will have an employee 
that will be able to manage the fleet. Uh, this is really important. This is one of the reasons that I got a corporate credit card. Because what I'm going to be able to do is get this employee's ID, have them sign an agreement saying if I use this credit card for anything other than business, I'm going to jail. I'm going to draw up a contract so they will never use this credit card for nothing else that's not business related. So they will be able to take care of the repairs. They will be able to take care of the issues. They will be able to buy gas. They will be able to do all of this stuff. And this is someone that I'm going to have to get a, do a thorough background check on, do a credit check, because I can't hire someone who has credit issues and give them a credit card with a $50,000 limit. Can't do that. Can't, can't, can't. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That ain't gonna work. So, um, one of the things that I'm going to do is create an SOP and create uh, practices and policies. Like, I have a situation that is brewing right now. Maybe the second kill switch story. Maybe the third kill switch story. Um, she's got the X5 and she was supposed to return it yesterday and it's like, I'm going to extend, no extension. And this morning, I see that the car is parked outside of her house. I'm like, okay, all right. And I'm going to try to get her to bring it back because she's hella far. She is on the other side of the world, man. And I'm just sitting there like, mm. but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go get it. I have a feeling because she was a first time renter. And if I didn't have the GPS kill switch on it, I would have rejected her rental application. And you know, I, I'm, I'm just seeing, cause essentially people get really lackadaisical of with these rentals that I don't think that they would do with um, Hertz or whatever. Because it's like, they late, they're keeping the vehicle, they're not really communicating. And one of the things I feel is I'm gonna create a written policy and put it in each car and it's like, look, uh, this is what you need to do. Because essentially like, let's say a car breaks down at nine o'clock at night. They ain't really nothing I can do at nine o'clock at night. So I'm gonna say move the car to a safe location if you can, or call hire a car and get it towed. And uh, I'm gonna put a list of my mechanics. Like if it's a BMW, you can have it towed to this place. If it's um, um, an Acura Corolla, you can have it towed to this place. And when they open, like on the weekend. You know, nothing's gonna happen on the weekend. Nothing's happening on the weekend. You know, weekends are, you know, people, it's the weekend, baby, it's the weekend. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this because um, one of the things is when someone is late, I really start bugging them. Like I've sent her a message this morning in about two or three hours, I'm gonna actually call her because I'm just, for me, I'm like, how can you rent a car and have someone's car and be late and not be communicating or not be breaking your booty to actually get this paid or bring the car back? And this is something else, too, that I, I frequently see. A lot of my renters are on this side of town. The majority. I, I do. Now, this is what's funny. I have a guy who lives in Sandy Springs who's a renter. No problems with this dude. No problems at all. None whatsoever. And one of the things that you will contend with once you start a business, especially a service business, where you have to reach out to other people. Like my mechanic, they're having a problem with the Mini because the Mini was tuned. But typically, I could drop a car off there in the, mor in the morning and they'll usually get it turned around for me same day, typically except for this Mini, which has proven to be problematic. But I've been dealing with these guys for, you know, 10 years. So, you know, I, I dropped the car off there yesterday. Boom, got it back yesterday afternoon. Rented it out yesterday afternoon. So, um, you know, 
it, it, it's funny because uh, one of the things that I'm getting ready to do is I realize because I've like so far this month I've made ten thousand dollars. So I'm doing like I'm averaging five hundred dollars a day. Now the problem with that earlier in the month. I had a bunch of people keeping my cars and not paying me. So I should be at 15,000. I should be at 15,000. And one of the things, like the GPS kill switch, I had a girl, she ran the car, kind of like this girl with the X5 who, you know, I, I have a feeling that if I didn't have that GPS kill switch, that if she doesn't pay, she might pay. I don't know, I don't know, she might pay. Um, that it would be three or four days or five days getting that car back. Because this is something that I am beginning to see. Why do they bring back the Corollas? The Corollas are old. There ain't nothing special about the Corolla. It's point A to point B transportation. But the BMWs, I literally have people who are waiting on me to get BMWs back waiting on me. They need a car. I'm like, well, run a car for someone else. It's like, nah, man, I'm going to wait. I'm like, but you need to be making money. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm like, literally, I got people who are stalking my page for cars. And um, I'm probably going to buy another BMW today. It's interesting. Uh, I'm buying, I'm using my corporate credit card to buy cars. Last few cars I bought with a credit card points baby points so i'm going to pay that credit card off friday it's gonna be like twenty five thousand dollar payment and uh, i'm gonna because i'm gonna buy another car on that credit card today and um that's why i'm getting started early because typically i gotta give out mad props to my gps installer if i bring him a car in the morning he will get that sucker installed. If it's in the afternoon, I'll have it installed by the next day. I love that. I love that because essentially, because I can get these GPS uh, this the kill switches installed so quickly, this really promotes me getting these cars rented because the two cars that I bought recently, they're rented. And um, I'm gonna get another one today. Uh, once I get this situation sorted out with this car, because I have to, and th this is one of the things I hate when my time is wasted. There is a better, more efficient way to do this, but since I am dealing with the tow truck industry, which is very antiquated, um, nobody is like, I'm like, this one guy. It, this this is what's so really this is like when you find an excellent employee and they quit because they want to do something else it's a heartbreaker man it's a heartbreaker but going forward I'm going to set this up because there are certain things that the employee will need to access and I gotta hire a go getter I gotta hire someone that can actually think that I don't have to tell them every little thing to do that they actually have creative thought process and they are problem solvers i'm probably going to pay this person like 40 40 000 and um they're going to be you know maybe even 50 just depending probably start them off at 35 and then it's like six months you, you do this you get a raise because essentially i got to induce these people because they're going to be working weekends every other weekend because it's until I get two employees I'm going to have to work weekends because this is one of the reasons that I try to push my cars out because if I can get all my cars rented there's nothing to rent on the weekends but typically I had a guy he was a good renter he had a family emergency he actually brought the car back in the middle of the night with a full tank of gas I love people like that. And uh, I went ahead in the morning. It wasn't wrecked. There wasn't no lights on. It, there was no issues. And I checked them out. And I said, thank you, great renter. 
And one of the things that you have to understand and you have to know that when you get in the business, there are so many moving parts. Because right now, uh, I need to sit down. Good Lord, that traffic is insane. Um, also, when I call these tow trucks, the person who answers the phone is frequently incompetent. Frequently. You know, it's like, if it ain't, if like this car has a broken CV joint, ball joint, it's broken, it's snapped. So that's got to be fixed. And I'm like, this one chick was like, well, we might need a dolly. And I have seen tow trucks pull cars that were wrecked with the with the tire all bent up. And I've seen tow trucks pull those cars on there. So I'm like, okay, you know, chick, you tripping, you tripping. But yeah, we, we, we you know, there, there's so much that goes on with this. And when we're building and we're creating a business, because essentially um, July, I feel, was a turning point because these GPS kill switches are game changers. They are game changers because, like I said, this chick who's got my X5 and who is not communicating, <clears throat> I hit her up first thing in the morning. I checked on the, the GPS. She's at home. And I want to see where she goes because if I'm going to reach out to her in two more hours and if she doesn't um, communicate with me because what I'm hoping is that she brings the vehicle closer to me because that's what I'm hoping because I will turn it off and I will go get it. And um, because, you know, like I said, I don't know what's going to happen. But once again, it's not looking good for the home team. It's not looking good because she's not communicating. And that that's that's a, that's usually a big issue. Oh, also, <clears throat> I gotta call the police again today. Once again, lack of communication, won't bring the vehicle back. And I'm just sitting there like, okay. <clears throat> you know, you don't care, I don't care. Because this is amazing. And part of it is, uh, you know, someone asked me a question, what are my three major problems? I don't have three major problems. I have one major problem, cars. I've got to buy, you know, I'm thinking of moving the price point of, fifth of the cars up to 15,000. Now, that's no guarantee, but the older the car, the more miles on the car, the potential of more problems. Because like what I'm dealing with today, it's 2008 with 170,000 miles on it. And also, I can't put these cars on Toro because they're too old and they have too many miles. And um, I can find like 2010s that I can put on Toro. And essentially, um, just kind of depending on how the month goes, I might buy another Porsche. Just, I might. Just, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I know another Porsche. I know it's like Lyndon, you're crazy. And um, put that on Toro. And then, you know, because one, one of the things that is um, really pissing me off is I, I need time to sit down and think. And this business keeps me hopping. Like dealing with this, I got to go physically be here with a car to be towed because tow cup, you know, <clears throat> the towing company industry is super slow they're not up to point they're not they're not up <clears throat> they're not up on uh, they're not with new technology because I should be able to call a tow company because the keys are in the car and I was like look go get it take it here call me up and I'll pay you with a credit card easy peasy right Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. <clears throat> it don't go like that. Doesn't go like that. It is crazy <clears throat> what is happening because <clears throat> 
if I own the tow company, I would do it so differently. I would have it where you can actually book your tow on the website. You gotta call them. And they got a dispatch and, you know, like I said, I don't know the towing company, tow business. I don't know it at all. But, um, yeah, that's what's going on right now. That is what's popping off. That is what's happening. And also, uh, since the car was supposed to be towed yesterday, uh, uh, I am sitting here and hoping that the car is still there because it's parked on someone's private property which is another thing but yesterday was a really really busy day I had a lot of things going on um, let's see and we would happen to have a Marta bus in front of me so let's see is it still there it is, good Lord, we got a lot of people there. It is still there. Cool, 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 cool. All right. All right, so let me work on this and I will um, <clears throat> talk to you guys later.